Ballad of Worldly Wealth by Andrew Lang, 1844-1912 Money taketh town and wall, fort and ramp without a blow. Money moves the merchants all, while the tide shall ebb and flow. Money maketh evil show like the good and truth like lies. These alone can ne'er bestow youth and health and paradise. Money maketh festival, wine she buys and beds can strow round the necks of captains tall. Money wins them chains to throw. Marches soldiers to and fro, gaineth ladies with sweet eyes. These alone can ne'er bestow youth and health and paradise. Money wins the priest his stall, money mitres by I trow. Red hats for the cardinal, abbeys for the novice low. Money maketh sin as snow, place of penitence supplies. These alone can ne'er bestow youth and health and paradise. Okay, so Andrew Lang. Andrew Lang was a Scottish writer and poet, but he's most famous for his collections of fairy stories and folk tales. So, the Ballad of Worldly Wealth, Worldly Wealth, this is talking about money, yeah, and how money affects society, yeah, and uh, I think uh, it's being critical of money and it's saying we mustn't think that money is the thing that will uh, solve all our problems. So, money taketh. Notice in this thing, there very often we see verbs with th on the end, and this is an old-fashioned form of s. So money takes town and wall, fort and ramp without a blow. So you can use money um, as an alternative to war, yeah, to take possession of uh, a town or a wall or a fort yeah without actually fighting for it and uh, i think in our current world uh eco economic and money is used as a weapon money moves the merchants all while the tide shall ebb and flow so money motivates merchants yeah, it motiv mo motivates people to buy and sell. While the tide shall ebb and flow. While the tide goes up and down. So this here, while the tides ebb and flow, saying while life goes on, while um, nature, or there are some things that are eternal, an eternal cycle. Yeah? Whereas money is, is separate from these. Money maketh evil show like good and truth like lies. So if you've, if you've got money, you can make something that is actually really bad look really good. Yeah? And you can make something that's actually true seem to be a lie. So here it's saying that money or can pervert the truth, yeah? It can uh, make things appear not what they are. These alone can ne'er bestow, can never bestow, can never give youth and health and paradise. But yes, money can gi gi give, do all these things, the things mentioned above, but it will never make you young, it's not going to make you healthy, and you won't go to paradise. You won't be happy because you've got money. Yeah, You won't be a good person. Money maketh festival. Wine she buys and beds can strow. 
So money makes uh, makes for parties. Money buys wine and can strow, can strew, can put beds everywhere. I guess here the idea of this is pleasure. Yeah. So mon money can buy celebrations. Yeah. Money can make you drunk. Round the necks of captains tall, money wins them chains to throw. So if you've got money, captains, important people, captains of industry, chains, okay, a chain of office, the chain of the Lord Mayor of London. So if you've got money, you can buy yourself an important position. You can put the chain around your neck that shows you are import uh, you uh, you are recognized as an important person. So money can buy you influence. Money marches soldiers to and fro. So if you've got money, you can pay for armies, yeah, uh, or pay for people to do your work. Yeah, and uh, it gives you power. Gaineth ladies with sweet eyes. Yeah, there are women out there who uh, look at men with money with awe, and uh, they go for men who've got money. These alone can ne'er bestow youth and health and paradise. So money can do all these things, but it can't make you young, it can't make you healthy, and it won't send you to heaven. Money wins the priest his stall. Okay, so money can uh, um, affect what religions say. Yeah, rich people have much more influence over churches and religions than poor people do. Money might as buy, I trow. Okay, I trow. This is an old-fashioned word for think. And the mitre is the hat of a cardinal. Yeah, or a, I think, or is it a bishop? I think it's a bishop. Yeah, so if you've got money, you can buy yourself an important position or somebody for your family, an important position in the church. Yeah, if you've got money, it provides red hats for the cardinal. Yeah, a cardinal's a very important position. The cardinals choose the Pope. Abbeys for the novice low. But however, if you haven't got money, you just go and you live in the abbey as a low novice. But if you're, you come from a rich family, you'll probably become a cardinal. Money maketh sin as snow, place of penitence supply. So, in the church, um, m uh, you can uh, get indulgences, yeah? An indulgence is a piece of paper that you buy from the church that um, cleans your sins, that makes you innocent of your sins. Okay, so money maketh, makes a sin not a sin, yeah? You can buy a permission from the church um, to say that uh, you didn't sin doesn't change things though does it this is full of irony and then the, this line again these alone can ne'er bestow youth and health and paradise so money can do these things al own, alone but it can never give you it can never bestow youth health and heaven to bestow is like a gift from heaven. So enough. Mm, this talks about the evils of money or the evils of belie believing that money is going to make you a good person. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Ballad of Worldly Wealth by Andrew Lang.